2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so let's start up. Uh, just to give a background on what we did, we basically spoke about an interface yesterday. All right, and uh, we spoke about even abstraction. We even spoke about interfaces, how an, an interface can even extend another interface. Okay. Uh, now today, probably the session will be very short topic. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, okay, so let me make sure there is no compilation issues here. Okay. Let me even check in the file. So, did anyone get a chance to check out the compiled uh, file? I mean, compiled uh, uh, compilation error files and uh, do the modifications on that. Okay. All right. So, let me check in the uh, actual files here. Team uh, commit. So, updates. Commit and push. Configure change. H2K enforces H. Oops, sorry. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it later. Okay, so now the the next concern. Uh, I'll, I'll just take a simple uh, program here. We'll just take an interface. And uh, we'll see what I'm going to teach right now. Okay, so here basically we're going to talk about the lambda expression. Uh, so new uh, package. So in this, I'm going to say lambda express expression. Okay, and just a finish. Now, what is a lambda expression? So let me before even make uh, running this program and giving you any updates on this. The very first thing is you have to have JDK 1.8 installed in your machine. Okay, so let me make sure whether uh, everything is fine from my side. So I, I went to your windows uh, and, and preferences here. And then I, I go to Java. I just go to the compiler. So I see that my compiler is 1.8. Okay, so I'm well and good here. So you guys also can do it from your side. And the Lambda expression, which I'm saying right now is, uh, is, is only which is, has been introduced in JDK 1.8. Okay, now what is this all about? So let me say right click new uh, interface and uh, let me say something like uh, worker interface. Okay. So I create a worker interface and then this worker interface has got a method uh, public void working. Right. Now, as a responsibility, uh, when, when you use an interface, basically whenever any of the classes they implement an interface, they have to implement their own functionality, right? So if I say right click new class and say here, let's say uh, IT worker. Okay, so IT worker is going to basically uh, implement your, let's say, let me finish this and just say implements your worker interface. Okay, and as you know, when we uh, do any, any of these kind, I just say right click, uh, I mean, just say an unimplemented method and I'm good here. Okay, now, uh, I just have an interface out here and I have got a class which is implementing this and I'm basically working out working out on this and I'm just saying saying sys out and I'm just say uh, 
worker so working okay i am a it guy who is working okay now coming to the client program um, right click new class client program a main method here okay now what do i do here uh, i know that uh, i will basically say worker interface so let me before that let me just copy this on a safer side typing is a big hazard for me as well okay and by the way everything is copy and paste in java okay so it's not about java it's about any of the programming language you basically copy and paste things all right never uh, it's it's uh, you you see right uh, when whenever there is a high voltage uh, wire going on never come near me okay so the same thing here never write write something by yourself just, just copy and paste things okay okay so i was just kidding here uh, so you say worker interface i n t e r f a c e e equals to new of it worker right and on this it worker uh, is there any problem here it worker okay and on this worker interface uh, let me keep it short here okay and on this worker interface i will i will basically say worker dot your where do i have that working okay so you know very plain and simple right click run as java application i get this information out here okay now uh, when you talk about lambda expression here uh, uh, what you basically do okay now i'll do one more thing right here okay i have it worker right here okay in this it worker i have got a default implementation of your working method all right now how before even invoking this one before even invoking my working i want to give some default implementation for the it worker okay even though i have given it here still at the time after creating the reference uh, or during creating the reference of my it worker i still want to give some default implementation i still want to override i have no doubt overridden this one here but still at the time when i want to create an uh, instance of this it worker i want to do an overriding of the particular method then and there okay so what should i do in this case i will basically do it in this way so what did i do here i usually what you do you say simply like this okay so you say new it worker worker interface worker equals to new it worker or otherwise you just say it worker out here so it's all all same at this point of time but as i said always use your interface out here okay now as you know if i if i invoke this one right click run as java application that's what i get a output output right here right I still want to override at the time I want to create an instance of this particular class. So what I, what I'm what am I going to do? Use your curly braces, okay? And in your curly braces, uh, inside this, just copy the same functionality out here and paste it inside this, okay? Now what am I going to do is I'm just going to say uh, I am a Java IT worker. All right so let's see what happens right click run as java application you get it as i am a java it worker now if you see here even though you have a default functionality in your it worker you can still give a default functionality in your client program at the time when you create an instance of your it worker you have to start with the curly braces and end with the curly braces out here okay and then you are good to go and you just need to override this one and the moment you say working uh, worker dot working you basically invoke invoke this particular functionality okay not your method in your it worker 
okay so this is a trick uh, at times it will be quite handy sometimes uh, if you want to on 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 the fly or let's say at the time you create an instance you want to be more specific on what that particular method has to print you can even have it in this way okay uh, you will see a lot of uh, lot more uh, down the line also okay all right so now uh, if you see here okay so this is one part uh, this is nothing to do with your lambda expression at all okay uh, let me copy this okay and paste it here uh, it worker so let me make this as an it worker okay and i'm good at this part so i don't want to touch this now I, I know that uh, in my worker interface, so this is, let me say, uh, non-IT worker, copy this and paste it out here. Okay. Now, uh, worker interface work, uh, not uh, non-IT worker equals to new IT worker. So I'll just say I'm a non-IT worker. So well and good, uh, it is going to invoke its own respective uh, method which you have overridden in, in the in the in the client program itself. Okay. Uh, Question. Yep. You yep. can you declare an object when you say um, like you know worker interface non IT worker mm -hmm. equal to new? Shouldn't it be worker interface like? How shouldn't like the worker interface be added after new? No, this is not a. Uh, it is not an interface. It is a class here. There is a class out here, and this class is actually inter uh, I mean, uh, implementing a worker interface. Okay, as you know, we cannot create an instance of a particular interface. Is it clear? No, but what I mean to say is, usually, you, you know, this statement that you have written this code, right? Mm -hmm. it, it is okay to implement IT worker that, is, or let's say if I like, you, you know, when you, you usually declare an object, mm -hmm. you say when you usually create an object or declare an object. Yeah, do it in so this way. You have like worker interface at the beginning and then end with a worker interface at the end. Even like that's how it usually goes. But like in this statement, you can do that. Uh, so what was the significance? Uh, no, no, no. You're saying you say worker interface non IT worker equals to do I do it in this way? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. No, yeah. we cannot do it in this way because this this is an interface and you cannot create an instance of an interface. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, did you take it wrongly because this is this is never going to happen? Okay. Always you can create an instance of a class. You cannot create an instance of an interface. The same way you cannot create an instance of an abstract class. All right. The only thing is abstract class goes in a hierarchy. Interface doesn't even come in, a, in, in any of the particular hierarchy. If you remember, we spoke about all these things. Okay. All right. So uh, this is uh, okay now so in this case i'm just going to say new it worker so i'm good here so but if i say right right click new, run as java application uh, it is going to invoke the implementation method which is present in your it worker okay well and good now uh, we will see what we can do it using a lambda expression here uh, now your main objective is to invoke some uh, functionality here by giving your some message out here right so for that reason, what you're doing is you are uh, kind of uh, having a new class here, okay, and a class which is actually, uh, uh, I mean, you are implementing this particular method and this particular method is giving you some output out here, okay. Now, uh, what I can do, uh, or let's say if you suppose, uh, can I do something like this, public void call me. Okay, I will say sys out and say please call me. Right now, I have id worker dot 
call me is not present at all, right? Because in IT worker, there is no call me method at all. So copy this, paste it here, IT worker dot, still it is not there, right? Copy this, okay? So this way, it, it doesn't make any sense if you just have a method out here, okay? So if you sometimes sometimes you just need to override it, or let's say if you want to do some manipulation, if this particular method wants to use your call me for doing its own functionality, and from this particular method you can invoke this method, but from this particular reference you cannot invoke this call me method. Okay, so this call me method is only local to your this particular block of code. All right, so this is ruled out for me. So let me just have it uh, out here. Okay. So when I call your working out here, run as Java application. Does Lambda only work for a class that is implementing for an interface or any other class that we are creating an object? It only uh, you talk about when you talk about interfaces that works into picture. Okay. So we'll see that right now. Okay. So uh, now. Here, ultimately what you're doing, you're just invoking a, a function here and uh, this function is actually printing something, okay? Now, let's talk about lambda ex expression, the same thing how I can do it from lambda expression, okay? Now, here in this case, uh, where is that? Worker interface, copy this, bring it here, okay? Now I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, worker interface, uh, uh, let's say non IT. Okay, it's already there. Then comment this, this. Okay. Instead of this, what am I going to do is I'm just going to say I'll keep this as it is because I know that the, on the IT worker, whenever I say invoke uh, on working, I will definitely print something. Okay. Now instead of uh, implementing a class now. In, uh, when uh, when when the time comes, I basically implement this particular class to the work interface, and I I have the default implementation out here. The other way out, I can even have a default default implementation at the time I create an instance of the class. Okay, and then I invoke the method working here, right? So instead of that, what I can do, uh, and just say sys out. Dot println. Okay, I will simply say uh, uh, I am non IT worker. Okay, now what am I doing here? I am I am I know there is only one method which is present uh, in the in the worker interface first of all. Okay, and uh, on top of that, I just want to print on the non IT worker, just what I want to say I'm not I'm a non IT worker out here. Okay. Now the same thing uh, if you see this is the signature is a bit the, the way you use a lambda expression is a bit different. So right click run as Java application you very well get it as I'm a non IT worker here. Okay. The other way out if you want to have multiple statements have this and push it here and have multiple statements sys out okay so so doesn't work out here copy this paste it here i do non it work okay so public void uh, call me again okay now what it says, uh, illegal modifier, only final, final is per permitted. Uh, let's say if I make this as final, doesn't even still work out, okay? So ultimately, what you do here, you just need to have some statement out here or some kind of uh, implementation or some kind of calculation, even I can have some kind of calculation out here. And after having this calculation, I can, the moment I say, non IT worker dot some calculation, this particular method, the way you return something. Now let's say I'm just going to have uh, in the worker interface, I'm just going to say something like uh, public uh, 
void CALC. Okay. Now in this uh, CALC, let me even take this out. Okay. So I'm just going to say here. Okay. Now see one more thing. Now the moment uh, I go back to the worker interface, comment this out. Now how many methods I have? I have only one method out here. When I have only one method out here, yeah, I'll clarify that. Okay. So I have when I have only one method out here, I come back to the program where I'm where I'm actually using the lambda expression. I have no compile time error. Okay. The moment I start using one more method out here, come back here, you see you got a compile time error. Okay. Now, what is the objective out here is your lambda expression could be will be only implemented uh, for an interface who is having only one method in it. Okay. So this is ruled out for us. You can have only one method in it. Okay. Now I'll show you one uh, one more interface which is present in Java itself. Runnable. Okay. So this is a kind of an interface uh, which is present by itself in Java and this is again uh, I can use this as the form of your lambda expression also because this is an interface having only one method in it. Okay. And if you can see the annotation what they are using, they are saying by itself that whenever you see any kind of annotation as functional interface that means that can participate in your lambda expression okay so i can do the same thing out here i can just copy and paste the functional interface out here so what happens you basically if anyone sees this they say that okay this is eligible for a lambda expression now given this annotation given this annotation if suppose i'm not giving this annotation and I am saying public void call uh, me. Okay. Now I am not getting any compile time error, but during the time you uh, do an implementation for this uh, in the client program, you know that you are definitely going to get a compile time error. Other way, uh, other way out. Let's say this uh, this particular interface somebody else is using it in their own program. Let's say in hundred places there it has been used. And in all the hundred places, they are using this lambda expression. Okay. Now, uh, in that case, if I do any modification to the existing interface, I do not get any compile time error here. Instead, I will get compile time error in all the other places wherein this lambda expression has been implemented. Right. So, in for that reason, I can give an annotation to this. Okay. The moment I give an annotation that is a functional interface. Then it basically gives me a message by itself saying that invalid uh, annotation worker interface is not a functional interface. Okay. It says that, okay, this is not a functional interface because it has got more than one method in it. Okay. So I need to delete this. All right. Now always remember the, the functional interface uh, in functional interface, you'll be having only one method. Okay. And no other methods in it. All right. And this functional interface has come up in picture in your JDK 1.8 itself. All right. Prior to this JDK 1.8. Now let's say I have everything in place now. Okay. And I right click run as a Java application. Everything works fine. The moment I say windows preference and I want to compile this program with JDK 1.7. Okay. Apply. Yes. Okay. Okay. I started getting a compile time error here. I did not do any modification to the, to the existing program. Still I get a Compile time error. It says change the JRE comp uh, compile and uh, JRE to 1.8. So very well, I have to go back. Just go to the preferences and just say 1.8 out here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now coming Jeram, back. Uh, Jeram, when you compile it this way, is it using the JDK install on your desktop or is it just an Eclipse JDK that is using to compile? Uh, you need to have JDK 1.8 in your machine first of all, okay, and uh, then you need to have a capability in your Eclipse to point to JDK 1.8. Now, what happens? The Eclipse which you will be downloading normally, you'll be having the JDK 1.7 version, the max, okay. So when you say preference, you will be only seeing JDK 1.7. 
even though you install JDK 1.8 in your machine, the way I have it over here. Okay, I, I just say uh, Java hyphen version, right? So my version is pointing to 1.8. Uh, even though you install your JDK 1.8 and your version is pointing to 1.8, it doesn't matter. But your Eclipse should be uh, having the capability to support uh, 1.8. Let's say if I download the older version of your Eclipse, very older version of your Eclipse, I uh, that that particular version of Eclipse is only supporting 1.5. Okay, so in that case, you cannot use uh, any of the features of other other things also. Okay, let's say any other features which is based on your 1.62. I mean more than 1. Point, uh, 1. 1.5. Okay, so you have to install your uh, J. I mean, okay, let me show you that. Just go to your help and uh, Eclipse Market and JDK 1.8. I think I've already shown you this. And uh, 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 where is that? Where is that? Okay, this one. Okay, the Java 8 support for the Eclipse Kepler uh, SR2. Okay, so you can very well install this one. I have installed the other way out. You can still install it in this way to make sure that you are uh, you are having the uh, JDK 1.8 support for the for the Eclipse. Okay, so. Do, do this okay there are a couple of questions here what is the purpose of lambda expression in the real time because the scope uh, is limited in this case uh, okay and does the lambda expression only work with the class okay this have could you clarify this okay uh, see whenever you basically when you talk about a calculation okay uh, sometimes you do the calculation then and there itself Okay, uh, you you do not want to do some uh, let's say to uh, when you want to add something you want to say uh, add a plus a plus b you do not want to have a class implement the uh, method in that and then from that method you want to have some implementation out here okay you can do very well in the same line itself in the same program also okay the lot more implementation. Uh, We'll see if we go, go get into the collections. We'll see if uh, I can show you some programs on on the lambda expression itself. And there are a lot of other things which we can use it. Uh, it's again a uh, in depth the functionality. Okay, there are a lot of other features which we can use it in your lambda expression. Okay, I'm just tell, just telling you what is the base of it and how we can use it at this point of time. All right. And and. Okay. Can you type out this entire thing? It's called the word long long one expression. Is that what it's called? What is that? I, I didn't quite get what the name, name you were referring to. L A M D A Lambda expression. Oh, lam, lam, lambda expression. Lambda expression. Okay. So again, uh, in this IT world, till now, no one is using, uh, I mean, First of all, if you go to any of the company, they are not have they have not even started using your JDK 1.8. Everyone are into 1.6 or, or in, into 1.8. Okay, so still uh, might be there are a lot of flaws which are which might be there, and there are a lot of good things also which might be there. So still, this particular uh, things are still evolving it. Okay, the same lambda expression. If you learn the Scala, there is one more language in that. Uh, I mean, almost most of the languages. They have this inbuilt functionality by doing uh, the way we did it right now in, in using a Lambda expression. It's already there in uh, other languages also. Now this is a very huge feature. I mean, a different feature which has come to your Java right now. So in JDK 1.8 is entirely different. Usually when you compare your JDK 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, they are almost the same uh, apart from having some security uh, uh, patches on on the existing code, but when you talk about JDK 1.8, it is an entirely different structure. Okay, so they have a lot of uh, uh, refactoring of the code. When I say refactoring of the code, a lot of changes in the code. Okay, because if you go and see your, uh, let's say, for example, runnable interface. So when I said it is a, they have annotated this with your functional interface. But if you go to your uh, JDK 1.7, in that if you open the same runnable interface, okay. In that case, you will not see this annotation at all, okay? Because 1.7 does not support your lambda expression, okay? 
I'll I'll try to give you some more. Just one more question. Jeram, these interfaces are they already coded into the JDK environment, or this is something we can write out? Uh, which interface are talking about runnable? Yeah, this already uh, does this already come with the JDK version? Right? Yeah, this is this is coming with the JDK. When we talk about threading concepts, I will I'll talk about all these things. Okay. I just opened this file because I just wanted to give you a uh, give you a. uh idea on uh, we already have couple of uh interfaces which are which are uh, which can participate in your lambda expression also and those are kind of a functional interfaces also and any of the methods which is having only one method in it they can be they can participate in the in your lambda expression okay oh. there uh, one last question over there mm-hmm. how uh, in, in the code over there you said New IT worker equal to and brace who's a uh, mm-hmm. lambda expression over there. Mm-hmm. How does it know um, uh, which class you are in? Actually, you're in. I am not using any class here. I'm directly implementing. H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide for a free demo class visit us at h2kinfosys.com